So Stig starting at a gallop here. Just one point conceded in the first two games. That's an absolutely brilliant start by Stig. Zero. There's still no sign of the Rosetsky Riz rolled backhand. It's a bit like Richard Krychek at times, isn't it? Krychek keeps telling himself to hit the drive backhand and doesn't. Yes, I think people can develop, as you know, these are my thoughts, develop a fixation about changing a backhand. People rant and rave about graphs, but it's uh, taken her one or two places in the game. Yes, and uh, one of seventeen point six million dollars. That's uh, not a bad shot, obviously. Well, Rosetsky will feel an awful lot better after a love service game to open his account, but it's Stieg who leads, of course, by two games to one in the opening set. <laughs> it's a diesel. Yeah, and I suppose you're a Formula One racing driver. Sure. New in the C-Class, the C250 turbo diesel. Fidelity. Man spürt, es kommt von überall. Day four of the French Open, another glorious day. Temperature expected to reach the 30s Celsius, 80s Fahrenheit. And Michael Stig 2-1 up on Greg Rosetsky in the opening set with the break. Rosetsky yet to win a point against the Stig serve. First, first serve that he's missed. <laughs> Makes up with it, for it, with his second ace. Ace, first ace, I should say, the second of the match. Yes, he didn't play it particularly hard, but of course Rosetsky is protecting his backhand, expecting the serve to come in there. look to play if I had the uh, Rosetsky back and is I would just try and ensure that I kept it low didn't hit it with a lot of pace and really look to make a lot of hay with the next shot and that uh, hopefully would be the forehand well, there was half a drive wasn't it but still with an open face
The w very noticeable difference, I think, apart from a high percentage of first serves in by Stich, is just that he's able to move that much better on the surface than Rosetsky. Rosetsky really seems to struggle. It's almost as if the court's giving way under him as he moves about. He's a much more heavily built man. He's actually an inch shorter at six foot three to stick six four. Well, we've seen a genuine one. Yes, I think early in the matches, uh, he's got to give himself a, just a far bigger target, a far broader target for the backhand, not try and hit lines with it. Oh, that's terrific, Molly. Well, magnificent play. If he can uh, volley like this, he can surely hit uh, really good backhand slices because the technique's the same. And there, the ball very close to the top of the net, just skimming it. Just confirming it was a fraction long. That's well, good play. Good game from Rizetsky. So he's beginning to settle down. But of course, he's still got the problem of having lost his serve in the opening game of the match. Schick leads three games to two. Hallo liebe Farbfernseher, den Toyota Fun Cruiser gibt's jetzt auch in lustigen Colorkombinationen und zwar in Opal Gelb, Opal Blau, Opal Silber, Opal Grün, Opal Opal Rot, Grün, Rot, Gelb, Rot, Blau, Grün, Silber, Grün, Gelb, Grün, Blau, Lavendel, Lavendel, Weiß, 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 Blau, Weiß, Gelb, Weiß, Grün, Blau, 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 Grün und sogar in Blau, Gelb. Aber wer steht schon auf solche Farben? <lacht> 136 Möglichkeiten Farbe zu bekennen. Toyota Fun Cruiser Color Plus. So viel Spaß muss sein. When time has come. Dornkart. Männlich, markant, dreifach gebrannt. Welcome back. We're on court number one with Greg Rosetsky and Michael Stieg. Now, we mentioned the winner will play either Mark Knowles or Michael Thielstrom. Knowles has won the first set, 7-5. And on the uh, center court, that ladies' match we dipped into before this started, it's now 4-all in the final set between Allard Decusis and Pizzicini. Cord. <clears throat> so two serves, uh, two uh, aces from Stieg, both of them on the second serve. And he certainly didn't paddle about with that one either. One he gave it a, a pretty fair clip. Huge difference if you uh, serve to the Rosetsky forehand. I suppose you have to do it every now and again to keep him honest. Well, I'm not sure that you do. I don't think uh, you bother to until uh, he proves on the backhand side that he's going to hurt you. Toronto counts. And actually, on the forehand side, I wouldn't have thought he was that good a returner unless he gets into a rhythm, unless he anticipates quickly, because he normally likes a fairly good swing, and Stick's not going to give him much time. But still, I would think the backhand would be the play. Oh, 
that's terrific from Stieg. Uh, wonderful reactions off the net court. Well, this is a good point played by Rosetsky. He didn't rush, and admittedly that fell a bit short, but uh, so was Stick's approach. And he was jolly unlucky, really. This is just uh, the volley of a world-class player. Stick, of course, one of the best, along with Edberg. When it comes to switching volleys, when it comes to playing reflex shots at the net, Stick, one of the best. Third ace from Michael Stich. And we're moving on at a rapid pace, aren't we? Six games played in just 14 minutes. It's been quick going today. Most are making quick work of uh, Solvez. Zero counts. Well, again, this is real class because this is the change-up. This is where Rosetsky thinks uh, that he's fooling right-handers, and he would fool many of them. Because most right-handers would be expecting the ball to come into the yeah, backhand. Sorry. Stick and left-handers. Well, I've mentioned the fact that he beat even Isovic indoors in the finals, killed him. So he's not scared of uh, left-handers at all. And although Rosetsky might have the occasional faster serve, there's no better server in the game than Ivan Izovic. Sampras arguably as good. Best point, I think, from uh, Rosetsky that because Stick had him moving around and uh, he had to do a lot of it. There was a lot of uh, quick foot movement necessary and he handled it well. If you can handle your feet. for one streak guilty of uh, a little lazy footwork not really getting out of the way Great shot. Certainly doesn't seem to have lost his backhand down the line through. No, and probably just anticipation, anticipating, you can see his weight leaning across there. And, and it didn't take much, uh, very quick movement. He was there in just uh, three or four gliding steps. Lovely bit of timing. Second double from Rosetsky, who's struggling to get the first serve going. Avantage, Rosetsky. That's a shot that uh, Stich can miss. Of course, he can miss them all, but uh, it's one I've seen him miss quite a bit, that cupped forehand that he tries to play back. Just doesn't steer the ball quite positively enough. <laughs> 